Hello my dear students very good morning to you all hope you are all doing good thank you so much for the beautiful and wonderful response you are giving for my classes and it is giving the most happiness thank you so much for that once again today we are going to discuss about another important topic boiler feed water so this topic is about the water quality specifications which is used in boilers so before that we should know what is a boiler and what is the need of boilers so a boiler is nothing but a metallic compartment usually a steel alloy compartment which is made to maintain high pressure and to produce high quality steam here you can see an image of a boiler where you can see the internal things happening that is the water is boiling and steam is forming so this is how a boiler works as a result steam is produced now we should know what is the use of boiler so boilers are used mostly in electricity generation for example in thermal power plants as well as in nuclear power plants then naphtha powered power plants kerosene powered power plants everywhere they are going to produce steam in large quantities the steam produced is passed over the turbine and then the turbine is made to rotate so the rotating turbine is actually connected with a metallic conductor which is rotated inside a permanent magnet strong permanent magnet so as a result electricity is generated so this is how electricity generation takes place in most of the power plants which is producing steam so in those cases boilers are needed in good quality as well as the water which is fed into the boiler should be of high quality with the specifications what we are going to discuss so likewise boilers are used in electricity generation as well as in alcohol brewing industries as well as in so many food industries now we are going to see what are the requirements of boiler feed water so what is boiler feed water the water taken in boiler for the production of steam or you can say that the water fed into the boiler for the production of steam is called boiler feed water so here are the specifications the parameters and its specifications the harness must be less than 0.2 ppm whereas the soda and the caustic alkalinity must be less than 1 ppm and then soda ash must be less than 0.55 ppm and there should not be any dissolved gases in the boiler feed water so these parameters are very much important for the quality of steam as well as the safety of boiler now we are going to see what are the problems arises if the specifications are not maintained so here is the list so what is the parameter specification harness must be less than 0 ppm if it is not maintained as 0 ppm then it will cause scales and sludges in the boiler which in turn decreases the efficiency of boiler and there should not be any dissolved gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide otherwise boiler will get corroded and then dissolved salts and alkalinity producing salts causes caustic embrittlement then oil and turbidity if present causes priming and foaming there should not be any oil and turbidity if we are not maintaining the water without oil and turbidity then it causes priming that is the formation of wet steam and then foaming formation of stable or persistent bubbles so these parameter specifications should be maintained throughout the process of production of steam otherwise the problems or disadvantages what are going to cause is listed here so we have to maintain the boiler feed water in a greater quality otherwise it causes great troubles so those troubles are called boiler troubles or boiler problems so this is nothing but disadvantages of using impure water in boilers so if we use high hardness water or water containing hardness it causes deposits inside the boiler wall 
that is scale and sludges formation so if the water is not free from oil and turbidity it causes carryover that is priming and foaming if soda ash is present in large quantity then hydroxide will be produced which causes caustic embrittlement similarly dissolved gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide corrodes the boiler and these are the major boiler trouble arises if we use impure water in boilers since we are concentrating more on hardness we are going to discuss about the problems arising as a result of hardness producing salts that is the deposit formation or scales and sludges formation what happens is we are continuously boiling the water inside the boiler for the production of steam for longer durations what happens as a result the water is continuously getting evaporated and the salts are getting concentrated inside the boiler itself so the water is getting evaporated and it is converted into steam and we are consuming steam but the remaining water with little salts are getting concentrated again and again daily as a result these dissolved impurities are thrown out inside the boiler so these thrown out impurities are getting precipitated as sludges in the boiler water or they can be deposited as scales in the inner walls of the boiler so here in the right image you can see inside the boiler tubes you can see there is a large deposition and also in the water there are so many suspended sludges so dissolved impurities can be precipitated as sludges in boiler water and they can be deposited as scales in the inner walls of the boiler so this is how scales and sludges are formed that is continuous boiling of water leaves the impurities concentrated and then they can be precipitated or deposited based on the nature of the substance present in it so here is the better way to explain scales and sludges formation so it is the inner wall of the boiler and it is boiler wall actually this is the cross section of a boiler so you can see the inner wall as well as boiler water now what we are doing is we are continuously boiling the water so the triangle represents we are continuously heating the boiler as a result the salts present there gets concentrated as hard scales and deposited on the inner walls of the boiler so this is how scales looks like inside the boiler sometimes instead of hard scales they can be deposited as loose sludges in the water that is they are not proper deposits they can be suspended or they can be precipitated inside the boiler water itself so scales are hardened hard coating they are on the inner walls of the boilers whereas the sludges are loose precipitates they are suspended in the boiler water so this is how scale and sludge formation takes place in boilers now we are going to compare scale and sludges so as we discussed earlier scales are hard adherent coating in the inner boiler wall whereas sludges are the loose soft slimy non adherent coating in the boiler water so usually calcium salts causes scales and magnesium salts causes sludges so actually scales are thermal insulators they tremendously decreases efficiency of boilers what happens is if scales are there even though we supply continuous heat energy that is we are boiling the boiler mains so these scales will not allow the heat to pass through to the water so what happens is it will take lot of time to make the water boil so automatically it decreases the efficiency of boiler similarly sludges are poor conductors of heat they decreases efficiency of boilers but not like scales and then scales if there is any crack in the scale it causes sudden rise in pressure in the boiler as a result it leads to boiler explosion so that is the problem with scale if hair cracks are present water gets entering into that hair cracks and sudden boiling will takes place as a result sudden pressure will be formed so it may lead to boiler explosion there in scales if there is any cracks 
So scales can be prevented by using dissolved mineral acids like HCl, H2SO4. Similarly, we are having so many treatment methods to remove scales like internal and external treatment. Otherwise, we can apply thermal shocks. So excess heat may make the scales shed down and then we can use metal scrappers or metal wire brush to remove scales. So these are so tedious processes. For the removal of sludges, we, are, we have to use softened water or otherwise blow down operation will be helpful in removing both scales as well as sludges. So what is a blow down operation? So it is nothing but a removal of the concentrated water. So as we have discussed earlier, continuous production of steam makes the impurities getting concentrated and deposited here and there or in water. So what we are doing is we are removing part of the concentrated water with fresh water. What happens is the concentration is getting decreased. As a result, scale sludge formation both will be avoided if we do some blowdown operation. Then what we are going to see is what are the disadvantages of scale. So actually if scales are there, it will cause us so many problems in the boiler. The first one is wastage of fuels, then decrease in efficiency. So scale is a thermal insulator. We know that. So this result in the reduced rate of heat transfer. That is if we, even though we supply continuous heat to the boiler, the heat will not reach the water in the specified time. So what happens is heat will move in a very reduced rate. As a result, the boiler water will get boiling slowly. Then the steam production capacity of the boiler is also reduced. So this is how fuel is wasted in a large quantity. So here you can see a table which describes what is the thickness of scale and how many or how much the fuel is wasted. For example, for 0.3 millimeter scale, we have to waste 10% of the fuel. Otherwise, if the thickness of the scale is just 12 millimeter, you see 150 percentage of the fuel is wasted. That is, we have to use 150 times 150 percentage more fuel to make the water boil and to produce steam. So anyhow, being a thermal insulator, it will not allow the heat to pass through to the water and makes the water boil very slowly. So hence the steam production is reduced due to the scale which is inside the boiler wall. And then the scale formation decreases the efficiency of the boiler also and causes severe wastage of fuel. So not simply wastage of fuel, large quantities of fuel will be wasted if there is a scale formation or scale deposition in the inner wall of the boilers. Then what happens is boiler explosion. We know that hair cracks, if there is a hair crack in the scale, the water is in contact with the boiler metal directly. As a result, sudden boiling will be takes place in the crack. Sudden boiling of water will takes place in the crack. And then sudden boiling causes sudden rise in pressure. It may lead to boiler explosion. So this is how scales causes so many damages. So thank you so much for the wonderful and patient listening of this class. So thank you for utilizing the time properly. So hope you have enjoyed the class. If you have any doubts, don't feel bad about asking the doubts. And I am always ready to help you in clarifying those doubts. Thank you so much. Have a nice day.